Hi, this is Andy from Tim's Minions, uh, and today's mini tutorial is a quick and easy way to add a landing page to your Facebook page. So, I'm going to go through the uh, steps first, and then we're going to go and do it live, so you can see the steps and how easy it is to actually put a landing page onto your Facebook page. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is create an image, and an image size needs to be 500 wide by whichever depth you decide to choose. We tend to go for around 700, but you can go more or you can go less. Um, the image width is important. You should be no more than 520. It is crucial, um, otherwise it will not show up properly. So the first thing we're going to do is create an image in the free software like Paint or Paint.net, which is for PCs, or you might have a equivalent on your Mac. And then what you do after you've created your image is upload the image to a free online picture storage like photobucket.com or flickr.com. Once you've actually uploaded it to Photobucket, you can then copy the image destination, which is the direct URL to the image, which you will then paste into a simple piece of HTML code, which is then ready to place into your Facebook landing page. This is what the code looks like. There is two types of code there. This code here which says a target equals blank with your website.com in there will basically make the image clickable so when someone clicks on that image they will then be directed to uh, whether you want to take them to another website outside Facebook or within Facebook. This piece of code down here at the bottom is uh, if you decide you want to put an image in there without having to uh, people having to click on it and then take them outside of Facebook. So there's two types of code and that's there for you to look, copy it down perfectly as it is as you can see where it's read or in fact all of that link there will be changed to your photograph link. But that will all uh, come in due course and it shall make sense as we go along. So the code that you've uh, you've got then will be placed into your Facebook page using an app called Static HTML, which you'll find within Facebook, and you can have up to 12 different tabs per Facebook page. So now that I've given you quickly the the rough outline of what we do, we're now going to go and create a landing page in real time, which we can then upload to Facebook. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create an image. I'm going to create a basic image and what I'm going to use is a free art package that comes with a PC called Paint. It's here, down here on my uh, taskbar at the bottom. However, if you've never used it before, you want to go into your start menu, click on all programs, go up to accessories, and then down to paint, you'll find it there. So if you could double if you well, double click, if you just click on that, that should bring the program up. And this is Paint. Now I use Paint.net, which is also a free software for the PC, and you can download that off the internet. And it comes with a lot more um, functions. It's a bit more harder to use, but like I say, you can you can get a lot of better graphics made out of it. But for the moment, I'm going to show you how to use Paint. Um, so we're going to go up here now and click down and start new. I'm going to go to resize. I'm going to click on pixels, I'm going to take off the main aspect ratio and I'm going to put 500 for that and for this example I'm just going to go with 700, I'm going to press OK. So that now is the size of the image that I want. I'm going to paste from and then I'm going to go to me pictures into videos and then what I'm going to do is paste, I'm going to paste the big light button and once you paste from you can move things around, you can resize them you should be able to resize them, it's, there we go that's got it there like, and then I'm going to go and paste again this time I'm going to go from a red arrow I'm going to move that, I'm going to make it Oops. Let's just quickly undo that and try it again. Paste from. That's slightly better. I'm going to rotate that image so it goes that way. And obviously, as you can see, this is basic, so 
I'm now going to add text. I'm going to put my text down here and I'm going to put click like. In fact, I might just put a couple of marks next to it. Click like to get great stuff from this fan page. Just going to stretch that out a bit like that. Uh, increase the font. Oops, that would help. 24. I'm going to can't centralise in this one very well, so you have to play around with it like that if you need to. And then you can change the colour if you need to. Click like to get great stuff. Um, let's paste something. Oops, let's just undo that. Right, so we're out of the text box. Right, I'm going to paste from. Um, let's go back into pictures and just out of interest let's quickly find there we go, I'm not looking very well sticking a little minion like that just for argument's sake now as you can see there's plenty of wasted space here but this is just your basic graphic I'm going to show you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this and you can save it as JPEG or PNG I tend to try and save them as uh, PNGs but they both work just as good. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this again I'm going to add something else now just to show you what there we go and then I'm going to save this Save as PNG. Um, watching video one PNG. I'm going to close that down now. All right, so now we're here at PhotoBucket, PhotoBucket.com. Uh, I'm inside PhotoBucket.com. So what I'm going to do now is upload a couple of images. I need to select the photos that I'm looking for and I'm now going to go to my library I'm going to go to pictures and they actually went in if I remember into there scroll down till I find the two images I want which is there and there so if you press your control button when you hit it and hit them both then press open you should have both photos should upload. Right, so there's the two images there. Right, so we've got both our images there. I'm now going to press save and continue. So what that does does now is it opens them up. Now if you hover over these images you'll see that they give you a direct link. Click on that box there, that is now copied. So I'm going to open up a landing page code. So what this is going to do now, I'm going to put between those marks there, I'm going to post that in there. In fact what I am going to do, I'm going to copy that again. paste it there and this time so this time I'm going to copy that link there and then I'm going to go to landing page and place it there in fact I believe I, that's better there we go so we've got the video one and untitled so I'm going to put reveal next to that and revealed next to that. So that's the two, the two uh, images we've got there. Um, what I am going to do as well is put, for instance, 
that image, that code there, copy, and I'm actually going to put it in here as well, and you'll see why shortly. Right, so now what we're going to do, and <coughs> we'll close that down a second, and we're going to go over to Tim's Minions page. At the top here, you want to type in static HTML, and it will come up here static HTML iframe tabs. Um, because we already have one actually on the Tim's Minions page, we want the second tab. So if you wanted the second tab, you'd type in second, it will come up. If you wanted the third, then again it will come up. And you do that up to 12. You have 12 tabs that you can stick to a page. Now, it brings you to this page here and it says choose a page. So we're going to go down to Tim's Minions. I'm going to click on that. And then it says add static HTML. So if we come down the side, you will see here we have welcome to. Click on that. And what will open is the static HTML editor. And you'll see here what is the enter your content here. And here's the optional fans only content. Now what this is, is basically it's a reveal. When you put some code into this box here and then the person lands on the page, they click the like button. It will then show what image has been put in this box here. If you don't put anything in this box here, they'll just see what was on the main landing page. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go with the reveal. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that in there. I'm also going to put in, just for... Center. Now I don't know if you can get away with the English spelling of center, but we always use the American, uh, which seems to work fine. And then for this bottom one, I'm going to put in here the revealed image. Copy. And I'm going to place that in there. And I'm also going to put in there center. And then it will ask you to save your changes, so you'll save them, then it will say preview. And that there is what people will see when they land on this page, that's the public. Now if I want to see what the fans would see once they've clicked like, there we go, so now we have the images there. So you've got your public, and then when they've clicked like, you've got your fans. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit more interesting. We go back to the editor, so you can either press the back button or back onto the welcome tab. We'll go back. Right, you've seen me put in a landing page where person lands on the image, clicks like, and then another image is revealed to them. This time we're going to go a step further. In this box here where the, we put the reveal image, we're actually going to make it clickable, which will send it to another um, either website or a page application within Facebook. I was talking to a guy on the Facebook page, Tim's Minions Facebook page, the other day about sending them directly to a shop within Facebook where you can sell downloadable products or even physical products. Now this here is the shopping cart that we've been trying out which is free to use and free to put on your Facebook page. So if we just click on it quickly and have a look, and there you go, it gives you categories that you can play around with. So if you click on fruit for instance, there you can buy and it takes PayPal. So for this example what we're going to do is link our landing page to this shop, this storefront. So if you're in Google Chrome you can just hover over it and click with your right mouse and you can copy link address. If you haven't got Google Chrome you probably want to go up here and just copy the address like that from the browser. We're going to go to our reveal page, to our reveal code, sorry, where it says the triple X. I'm now going to paste the actual address into there. And then I am going to copy all of that. So copy that. Now I'm going to go back down to the welcome tab. 
and in here I'm then going to paste that code. I'm going to scroll up, press save changes, it's now all saved. I'm going to go to preview, so this here is your first image that someone will land on and they will see that and it will say click like to get free stuff from this fan page, uh, great stuff from this fan page. So once they've clicked the like button they will then open up to this and as you can see I've slightly modified the image but now when you click on that it shall open up your shop front so that basically is how you create a simple landing page now what we're going to do is make that landing page visible to everyone who comes to your Facebook page who are not fans as opposed to going straight to the wall which is the default place so we're going to click on the wall and then we're going to go to here where it says edit page once you get to this page here you'll see that it says default landing tab so we've now set it to the free on the free video tutorial which you would have seen when you come to it but if you press this arrow down you will see that you can choose where you send it to so you would actually choose to send it to that tab there you would click that then you press save changes however I'm not going to because that's what we set it up to that there is how you would change it for whichever tab that you wanted people to land on now we're going to go to the side and click on the apps and we're going to come down to the static HTML which is the second tab and then we're going to edit settings now for that you can put in anything that you want for instance um, we might put Tim's minions test tab and then we'll save that press OK and then we should now go to view page and what you'll see down here is Tim's minions test tab so we've actually renamed it and you click on that and now that shall take us now if if you are not the admin of the page which I am you will basically end up straight to the set of images but because I'm admin I'm always taken straight to the editor which will happen to you so basically that's how simple it is to create a very simple landing page using an art package a free photo storing website uh, and the free static HTML tabs that you can use within uh, Facebook and for those who are interested the shopping cart is by Equid again you should be able to find that in Facebook if you do a s type Equid into the search bar or if you just do a Google search for Equid you shall find it as well so I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I shall speak to you soon thank you